Greetings. I am Sar Major Mike Robinson, Army Reserve Headquarters, DCGO Sar Major, and this is the Army Reserve has the goal to implement the Expert Soldier Badge, or ESB, by FY22. Today I will be demonstrating five fundamental tasks for 240 Bravo machine gun. Before we begin, know your rules of firearm safety. Rule 1, treat every weapon as if it is loaded. Rule 2, never point the weapon at anything you do not intend to destroy. Rule 3, keep finger straight and off the trigger until ready to fire. Rule 4, ensure positive identification of the target and its surroundings. Task 1. Perform operator maintenance on an M240 Bravo series machine gun. Always clear the machine gun in sequence using your 5 point safety inspection. Check the feed prop, check the feed tray, check the barrel, check the bolt face, and check the ejection board. Disassemble the machine gun. Remove the buttstock and buffer assembly. Depress the backplate latch, lift this buffer straight up. Raise the cover assembly. Remove the drive spring assembly by pressing the drive spring forward and up with your thumb. Pull rearward and drive spring rod assembly, removing it from the receiver. Remove the bolts and operating rod assembly by pulling the caulking handle and charging cable to the rear slowly. Pull the bolt and operating rod out of the receiver. Remove the trigger housing assembly by depressing spring pin and removing. Rotate the trigger housing down and back to remove. Remove the cover assembly. Close the cover assembly. Depress and remove the spring pin. Depress and hold the cover latches. Lift the cover up and off the receiver. Remove the feed tray. Remove the barrel. Depress the barrel locking latch and hold. Turn the barrel release left to the upright position. Pull the barrel straight out of the receiver. Remove the heat shield. You will maintain the machine gun in accordance with TM 9-1005-31310. Assemble the machine gun. Install the barrel by inserting the barrel into the socket. Push the barrel release to the right and then reinstall your heat shields. Install the feed tray and cover assembly. Place feed tray on receiver. Place cover assembly on receiver. Insert the covered spring pin. Open the cover assembly. Install the trigger housing. Insert the holding notch on the front of the trigger housing into the forward recess on the bottom of the receiver. Rotate the rear of the trigger housing upwards and align the holes of the trigger housing with the mounting bracket on the receiver. Insert the spring pin into the hole securing the assembly to the receiver. Install the bolt and operating rod. Ensure that the bolt and operating rod are fully extended. Insert the bolt and operating rod into the rear of the receiver. Push the entire bolt and operating rod assembly into the receiver as far forward as possible. You will need to press the trigger to allow the sear to drop and the group to slide all the way into the receiver. You may have to do this a couple times. Install the driving spring assembly. Insert the drive spring rod assembly into the receiver. Push in and lower the drive spring rod assembly to engage the retaining stud into the hole located on the bottom of the receiver. Install the buffer assembly. Position the bottom recess grooves of the buttstock onto the top of the receiver recess grooves and then slide the buttstock down until it locks in place into the receiver. Task 2. Perform a functions check on an M240 Bravo machine gun. Place safety lever to the fire position. Lock the bolt to the rear position by pulling the cocking handle to the rear. Push cocking handle to the forward position until it locks in the forward position. Place safety lever to the safe position. Depress the trigger. The bolt should not fall. Place safety lever to the fire position. Pull and hold the cocking handle to the rear. While holding the cocking handle to the rear, depress the trigger and ease the bolt to the forward and locked position. Close the ejection port cover. Task 3. Load an M240 Bravo machine gun. Clear the weapon, again, by using the five point safety check. Place the safety to the fire position, charge the weapon, pull the cocking handle to the rear, locking the bolt in the rear position. Push the cocking handle to the forward and lock position. Place safety to the safe position. Open the cover assembly, press in and hold the feed catch levers. While holding the latches, lift up on the cover assembly. 
Remove any ammunition if it is present. Raise the feed tray. Inspect the chamber to ensure no ammunition is present. Lower the feed tray. Place the safety to the fire position. Pull and hold the cocking handle to the rear. While holding the cocking handle to the rear, depress the trigger and ease the bolt forward to the closed and locked position. Load ammunition. Position the open side of the links in the down position. Brass to the grass. Place the link belt on the feed tray with the first round against the cartridge stop and tip of brown pointing towards the barrel. Close the cover assembly. Ensure that the latches lock into place. Make sure that rounds do not move away from the cartridge stop during closing and latching of the cover. Task 4. Correct malfunctions of an M240 Bravo machine gun. Take immediate action to correct a failure to fire. Immediate action is performed to reduce the stoppage without seeking the cause. The machine gun remains on your shoulder while performing immediate action procedures. The keyword POPS will help you remember the steps for immediate action. Pull the cocking handle, right hand palm up to the rear. Observe the ejection port to see if a cartridge case, belt link, or round ejects. If a cartridge, belt link, or round ejects, continue to the next step, but if nothing ejects, lock the bolt to the rear and proceed to remedial action. If a belt link or round ejects, push the cocking handle forward, press the trigger, and continue the mission if the weapon fires. Proceed to remedial action if the weapon does not fire. Take remedial action to correct a failure to fire. Remedial action is taken only if immediate action fails to correct malfunction. The most common stoppage or malfunction is ammunition obstructing the chamber, which can normally be solved very quickly. If this is not the case, then a more detailed search for the cause is required. Once the cause of stoppage of malfunction is identified, take the necessary steps to correct it. Place the machine gun on safe. Ensure the cocking handle is forward. Keep the machine gun oriented on the target area. Wait the appropriate amount of time. No wait time if the weapon is cold, fired less than 200 rounds in two minutes. Five second wait time if the weapon is hot, fired more than 200 rounds in two minutes if you are in a combat environment. 15 minute wait time if the weapon is hot, fired more than 200 rounds in two minutes if you are in a training environment. Correct an obstructed chamber. Ensure your face is not directly over the feed tray cover. Looking away, open the feed tray cover. Remove the ammunition belt, all spent brass links, and loose rounds. Raise the feed tray assembly. Remove all spent brass links or loose rounds. Visually inspect the chamber for obstructions. Remove obstructions. Remove single rounds by angling the ejection port downward and shaking the machine gun. Remove jammed rounds by using a pointed object to loosen jammed rounds and then shaking them out. Remove a round or cartridge case that is stuck in the chamber by using a cleaning rod without the swap holder attached to push it out. Reload the machine gun. Attempt to re-engage the target. Continue the mission if the machine gun fires. Perform media action a second time if the machine gun fails to fire. Proceed to correct a mechanical malfunction if the machine gun fails to fire after the second immediate action is performed. Correct a mechanical malfunction. Clear the machine gun. Disassemble the machine gun. Inspect for missing or broken parts. If missing, worn, bird, or broken parts are identified, record the information and replace the parts or turn in for repair. Clean dirty or corroded parts. Lubricate the machine gun. Assemble the machine gun. Perform a function check load the machine gun, and re-engage your targets. Perform corrective actions to secure a runaway weapon. A runaway weapon or uncontrolled fire is when the weapon continues to fire after the trigger has been released. Take immediate action to secure a runaway weapon by keeping the machine gun oriented on the target area. Stop the ammunition feed by breaking or twisting the ammunition belt. Allow all remaining rounds in the loaded belt to fire. Take corrective action to secure a runaway weapon. If the machine gun is suspected of being overheated, wait five minutes to allow the machine gun to cool. Load the machine gun and then re-engage your targets. If the machine gun is suspected of having a mechanical malfunction, clear the machine gun, disassemble the machine gun, and inspect the machine gun. Clean dirty corroded parts, lubricate the machine gun, assemble the machine gun, perform a function check, load the machine gun, and then re-engage your targets. Correct sluggish operation of a machine gun. By clearing the machine gun, disassembling the machine gun, inspecting the machine gun, clean dirty or corroded parts, lubricate the machine gun, assemble the machine gun, perform a function check, load the machine gun, and then re-engage your targets. Task 5. Unload an M240 Bravo machine gun. Remove ammunition from the machine gun. With palm up, pull the cocking handle to the rear. Ensure that the bolt locks to the rear. Return the cocking handle to its forward position. Place the safety lever on the safe position. 
Raise the cover and remove ammunition belt. Remove any ammunition links or brass from the chamber area. Again, use your five point safety check. Clear the machine gun. Confirm that no ammunition remains in the chamber. Close the cover. Place the safety on fire. With palm up, pull the cocking handle to the rear and hold it. Pull the trigger, allowing the bolt to ease forward to the forward locked position. This is the safest position for the machine gun to be stored. Team leaders, squad leaders, platoon sergeants, putting confidence and proficiency is the name of the game. Ensure that you plan and forecast your training and then make sure it's in DTMS to capture that training. I am Sergeant Major Michael Robinson, ready now, shaping tomorrow.